Dear children, we have already studied about hybridization and hybridization in ethane and ethene. Hybridization means intermixing of the orbitals which are slightly different in energy and shape to give a new set of orbitals known as hybrid orbitals which are identical in energy and identical in shape. Today we will study about hybridization in ethyne. Ethyne, the molecular formula is C2H2. We know that carbon is tetravalent and in this case since there are two hydrogens and two carbons it means in addition to the sigma bond there must be a pi bond. In ethyne there are two pi bonds and one sigma bond between the two carbon atoms. Let's discuss hybridization in ethyne. SP hybridization in ethyne or SP hybridization of carbon atom. Carbon atomic number 6, electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. It is the ground state electronic configuration. Now in the ground state there are only two unpaired electrons. Now these two unpaired electrons cannot make bond with the two carbons and the hydrogens. So the electron from the 2s orbital will get excited to the vacant 2p orbital. Let us see ground state two electrons in the 2s orbital and two electrons in the 2p orbital. Promotion of electron, one electron from the 2s orbital is excited, is promoted to the 2p orbital which was vacant in the ground state. Now sp hybridized state, 1s and 1p orbital will undergo hybridization and this is sp hybridization. It will have 50 percent s character and 50 percent p character and there will be 2 p orbitals that is 2 p y and 2 p z will remain unhybridized. This mixing of the orbital of s and p orbital will take place in both the carbons and now both these carbons will have two sp hybridized orbitals each and two 2p unhybridized orbitals on each carbon atom. Now let me show you and explain this through an atomic model kit. This black ball is one carbon and this is another carbon. These are the two carbons of ethyne. Now these two carbons are sp hybridized state. Now one sp orbital of this carbon will get overlap with the sp orbital of another carbon and sp hybridized orbital of one carbon will make bond with the 1s orbital of the hydrogen atom. The same thing happen with this carbon also. The sp hybridized orbital of this carbon will make a sigma bond with this 1s orbital of hydrogen. Now you can see that these are linearly oriented and the angle is here 180 degrees. It is linear in shape. Now in this molecular orbital kit you can see that the two carbons and the two hydrogens are linearly arranged and these are the unhybridized p orbitals. These are the lobes of the unhybridized p orbital and it is on both the carbons. They are unhybridized. Now these unhybridized p orbitals will undergo sideways overlapping and we know that when there is a sideways overlapping, a pi bond is formed. Let me show you again through the bent pipes. 
Now I am showing you the overlapping of the p orbital and this overlapping is sideways and whenever there is a sideways overlapping the pi bond is formed and the restricted rotation is there. A bond cannot rotate through a pi bond, it will break. Now you can see this, the pi orbital which were oriented along the this direction, the upper lobes just imagine these are the lobes, just compare the two structures, they are actually same but in this structure I am showing the p orbital in the lobes form, in the dumbbells form and there is no overlapping but actually they are overlapped and this overlapping I am showing you through this, you can see the overlapping. The p orbitals which were oriented along these directions, the upper lobes they overlap and they form the electron cloud above this plane and the lower lobes they overlap and they form the electron cloud below this plane and similarly this p orbital, these orbitals they overlap here and in this direction. Now you can see that this is the overlapping of the p orbitals. From the pictures also let me clear this explanation and this phenomena. In figure A you can see the sp hybridized orbital of each carbon overlapping with the other carbon and one 1s one orbital of the hydrogen. Figure A is just showing you the initial linear shape of this molecule and the angle of 180 degrees. Figure B is showing you the sideways overlapping of the p orbitals. The p y orbital overlaps with the p y orbital because of the same parallel orientation and the p z orbital overlaps with the p z orbital again due to the same reason, same orientation. p y orbital cannot overlap with the p z orbital. In figure C you can see the electron clouds, the pi electron clouds above and below the plane and surrounding the sigma bond. The unhybridized 2 py orbital of the first carbon atom undergoes sideways overlapping with the 2 py orbital of the second carbon atom and a pi bond is formed between the two carbon atoms. Similarly, the unhybridized 2 pz orbital overlaps sideways forming another pi bond between the two carbon atoms. All the carbon and hydrogen atoms are linear and there is an electron cloud above and below, in front and at the back of the carbon-carbon axis. From the diagram also, it is very clear that there is a sigma bond between the two carbon atoms and also there are two pi bonds between the two carbon atoms and each carbon atom is bonded to one hydrogen atom each through a sigma bond. Sideways overlapping is very much clear from the figure. This is the three dimensional view of ethyne. You can compare this with the model I have shown you earlier. Let me show you it again. This is the atomic model of the ethyne. You can compare it which is shown in the picture that is the three dimensional view of ethyne. Again this is another form of ethyne. Just now I explained you the phenomena of hybridization in case of ethyne. In ethyne the hybridization is sp, the shape of the molecule is linear and the angle is 180 degrees. In ethyne between the two carbon atoms there is one sigma bond and the two pi bonds. There is one more sigma bond between the carbon and the hydrogen. There is restricted rotation about the two pi bonds which are formed by the sideways overlapping 
of the 2 p y and the 2 p z orbital. I am sure that hybridization in case of ethane is clear to you.